All right. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, obviously, this is different than usual. I uh, usually in the church and telling you how I can't believe it's another Wednesday afternoon already. But uh, this is different. I uh, feel like it's taken forever to get to Wednesday this this week. But uh, let's just begin by asking our Heavenly Mother for her help just by saying the Hail Mary together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, there's a few things I've learned this week. Um, if you want to get views and comments on Facebook, number one is show pictures of young people, of babies, of young children, grandchildren. That usually works. But I've learned about something else, and that is to uh, talk about your health, and especially something on COVID. That'll get views. I uh, you, we usually get uh, about two to three hundred views of the Wednesday message, and that little post I put out on Monday about my health and my wife Mary's health um, has over a thousand views. So, uh, okay, I guess I know what to do in the future. Just talk about that, and we'll get some views about our parish. Anyway, thank you to all of you for your thoughts and your prayers and all the comments um, were overwhelmed and uh, as you can tell um, I'm still fine uh, the last time I had any COVID symptoms at all which were really minor cold symptoms was Sunday so Monday Tuesday Wednesday um, I've been fine and uh, that's great I, I will talk about both of us here at the end real quick but um, let me talk about a few other things. I know last night we had our All Souls service, and I really um, was disappointed and frustrated that I could not be there. I know I'm sure Deacon Dennis did a fine job, and it's just such a wonderful evening. So I, I'm hoping that if you were there, that uh, you know you can you you were able to experience. Uh, a lot of people together grieving and grieving in their own way. That's what's so special about that evening. So, um, and you know, this month we remember all the souls. So let's, you know, we have a book out in the gathering area to remember all of the souls, all of our loved ones who have passed on before us. And we'll keep praying for all of them the entire month. So again, I hope uh, the last evening was Good for all of you who were there, and we will continue to pray for those people the entire month of November, and certainly always remember them. This Friday is first Friday of the month for November, and so at 10 o'clock we will be uh, offering the diocesan holy hour. So we'll have an hour of time with the Blessed Sacrament exposed, and. Uh, that's always a good thing for all of us is to be with the Blessed Sacrament. So um, if you could make it on Friday at 10 o'clock, that'll begin our first Friday. And then at 11 o'clock, we'll have Mass. And followed following Mass, we'll have lunch. And if you would like to, to be there for lunch, please sign up in the gathering area. There's a, a sign-up sheet, and Leanne would really appreciate having a somewhat accurate head count. So if you're interested in lunch, please um, just stop by church or uh, you can call as well and tell them that you're interested in being there for lunch. Or if you'd like a carry-out lunch, you can mention that as well. I can see all these people who are adding on to this view, which is... <laughs> it's I shouldn't be looking, right? Um, we are looking for more Mass ministers throughout the month of November. And especially at our 6 p.m. Mass, uh, we have a lot of openings for that 6 p.m. Mass for 
mass ministers, so servers, ushers, greeters, lectors, community distributors. If you are interested, um, please, uh, there'll, be a, there'll be an email coming out soon, but you can also contact Red Sember, who is our, who is our director of communications. Her information is on the front of the bulletin, bulletin, but you can email her at web at popgb.org. That's on our uh, front of the bulletin as well. But you can just uh, email her and tell her that you'd be interested in one of the Sundays coming up in November. And uh, we also need help for our Thanksgiving Day Mass, which is at 9 a.m. And the Immaculate Conception Masses, which I hope everybody knows is December 8th. That is a holy day coming up uh, where we celebrate the conception of our Blessed Mother. Not her, not Jesus' conception, but her conception. So if we could use help with all of those different masses for ministers. And again, if you're interested, just let uh, Red know and she will get you set up. Okay, again, I'm not going to go real long here. Um, I've been... Uh, here for basically five days now uh, and it feels like about a month so uh, it's uh, it's a it's a difficult thing um, you know we are both very very grateful that we are healthy um, as a matter of fact Mary uh, when it was tested on Monday for COVID we got her result back last evening that she is negative so that's good news. Um, we will continue to monitor her symptoms. If she doesn't develop any symptoms this week, she, um, according to our diocesan nurse, is allowed to attend mass this weekend. And uh, going forward, she can be in public, but she should wear a mask for up to 14 days. So we're gonna play the, the wear a mask for a week. Um, so next weekend and probably the following weekend, she'll be wearing a mask and we'll probably sit more towards the area that's more open on the right side of the church there where we have the pews partitioned uh, just to make sure that we're trying to stay as safe as possible for, for everybody and uh, respect everybody who might have concerns. Um, I have this suspicion that when I walk in there this weekend and uh, I should be allowed to be there this weekend if again barring any kind of complications that I would develop which I haven't at this point, uh, I'll probably be treated by, like a leper. People are going to probably want to not come within 30 feet of me, which I certainly understand again. I will try to keep myself away from people. I'll wear a mask when we're out in the public, uh, in the gathering area, certainly um, for the Eucharist. But uh, as of Saturday, I will have been through my... Uh, quarantine period and again with this illness I have been having had mild cold symptoms to start which really prompted me to just say I'll go get tested just so that nobody um, is concerned and uh, that was a good thing to do because I tested positive but uh, now I have had three immunizations I had the booster as well uh, on October 23rd uh, so three immunizations and COVID I would hope at this point that uh, I'm safe going forward that I will be able to be with people and not um, contract COVID or uh, be able to spread it as well so I, uh, I still feel bad that I didn't recognize you know the situation but I really, I tried to do it over. I would have done it exactly the same way. Uh, I'm glad that Mary is feeling well. We distance ourselves here as much as we can. And uh, she's fine. She's not developed any symptoms whatsoever. So uh, I think we're, we're okay. And, uh, you know, I, we miss everybody. I miss everybody terribly. I'm sure the people in our office, if you walk in there this week, it's a whole new attitude in there, probably very much more relaxed than it usually is because I'm not there. So uh, they can use the break from me, and that's good. And uh, but I, I, uh, 
I know that this disease is really strange, this virus, uh, for us. Now, I think it's a combination of, personally, I think this is a combination of the immunizations, um, but certainly, um, even more importantly than that, and, and doing the right things, but God, that if we can trust God, he'll take care of us. Uh, I do know other people in our parish right now who are really ill with COVID. So we really need to pray for everyone and continue to stay vigilant that we can get rid of this. I monitor the numbers every day and uh, I just checked them for today. We had 126 positive tests in Brown County. Um, the numbers seem not to be going up. They have been it went down from where they really peaked this fall and have kind of leveled off at about six to 700 a week in Brown County. Um, and the state's kind of leveled off as well, but uh, we can certainly get better. And uh, I'm glad I, we, that we don't have the serious uh, effects of COVID because I know there's some people and I, well, I think you know as many as well that have been extremely ill so let's pray for those who have been struggling with this illness. Let's pray that we can continue to keep each other safe, but let's also, and I, I've said this from the beginning, let's just do the right things and let's trust in God and God will take care of the rest. That's, I really think is the key to this whole thing. If we can trust and believe that God is in control always, We'll all be okay. So, I'm not wiping my nose because it's dripping. Jeez, I, I don't even want to touch my face because I think people will have a, a fit here. So I hope to see everybody this weekend. And uh, we have, I've had uh, a lot of time to prepare omelet. So uh, it'll be about 30 minutes long. <laughs> no, it'll be its usual length. But I've had a lot of time to think about it. And to think about a lot of things this week. And to think about how blessed that we all are. And that how blessed I am to be just a little part of this parish. So thank you to all of you again for all of your comments, uh, your prayers. I'm sure they have helped. But I would hope that we can also pray for all of our loved ones and our parish community and our community at large. That... Uh, we can soon be able to move on from this virus and to have some sort of normalcy in our lives where we can be out in public together and of course have certain things happen to us illness wise, but not have to, to try to keep dealing with this over and over and over. So I, I went on for 10 minutes or 11 minutes and it's too long, but uh, we have lots going on in our parish, lots of good things. I really, really hope to see all of you this weekend. And in the meantime, please take care of yourselves, take care of your families in this community. And let's end with just uh, invoking St. Michael the Archangel to help us, protect us from the snares of Satan. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, your families, yourselves, this entire community always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.